Rain. It makes you look like that. Rain. It also does this. Yuck. Rain. It makes me look like this. I'm gonna cut you, Rain, cut you till you bleed. I'm not really. I'm gonna make a nice... What am I gonna make? A nice omelette, I think. I can't remember whether I've made an omelette before, but hey, that's what I'm gonna make this time because I haven't had one for months. I will be instructing you pretty much none of the way, and I will probably not, definitely not put the ingredients or description anywhere on the internet, so, you know, only the finest. And while I'm doing that, oh, I'm gonna chop up this onion while I, while I have a little bit of that. Um, while I, while I uh, chop all my stuff, I'm gonna talk about the rain, because, you know, I'm getting pretty fed up. Yeah, does that work? That works. I'm getting pretty fed up with weather. Okay, and let me tell you why. I've just walked home from work. Right, I've just walked home from work. Um, I mean, yeah, I get the. T I, I work in London, so I get the underground, the tube, back uh, to the rough area where I live. And um, once I'm there, I then basically walk for about 15 minutes. Um, on nice days, that's brilliant, and I love doing it. On days like today, it's not brilliant, and I don't like doing it, as you can understand. So, yeah, I'm a little bit grumpy. Uh, now, let me turn this light on, honestly. Yeah, oh, isn't that better? Look at that. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit grumpy, but uh, we'll get over it. Now, the weather's a funny thing in this country. Yes, I'm going to talk to you about the weather, sorry. Um, the weather is a funny thing, basically. I should probably explain, actually. Happy 2,000 subs to Storpy Logs channel. All thanks to you. All thanks to you. The people I just threatened with a knife. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm now on 2,000 subs, which is fantastic. That means 2,000 of you are going to want to watch me cut onions and talk about the weather. If I even get onto it. Um, so, yeah, thanks very much. That's extra, extra awesome. Um, and I'm really, really proud. Uh, one thing I need to show you first. Here is a pepper, okay? You may recognise it's a bell pepper. Some of you call it capsicum, whatever. Um, often people are like, oh, how do I cut this? How do I cut this? I'll show you. This is, is going to be an actual uh, cooking tip. I've got two cooking tips for you today. The first one is, I don't know if you can see it properly. There we go, I can see it, but I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, basically, with this, all you have to do, instead of cutting it, you push in that green bit, okay? You push in that green bit so it looks like that. There you go, like it's gone in. Then all you do is grab the other bits there and pull apart, and there you go. You've got no seeds anywhere at all in there. That's, there you go. A couple of seeds there, but we can get rid of those. But the main bit that you don't want is just stuck on the stalk. Perfect. Anyway, God, I'm giving you all these tips for free. I like the seeds, it doesn't matter. All these tips for free. Anyway, the weather. Now, I asked you a while ago um, to, to tell me about what you thought stereotypical English or British people do or are like. And I'm sure if I'd asked you, what's your stereotypical view of England? You'd probably say like cows, warm beer, um, green fields and rain because by hell does it rain here. Now, I, yeah, to carry on with what I was saying just a minute ago, I walked home from work today, so I've walked, walked out in the rain for about 15 minutes, and that's enough. I don't want any more than 15 minutes walking in the rain. Sometimes I like walking in the rain, sometimes I think it's nice, but that's only if I'm prepared. Today I didn't have an umbrella, I had a measly coat, and, um, and I had, what else did I have? Uh, oh yeah, nothing. So yeah, and I had some yeah some sort of crappy shoes that let quite a lot of the water in. So that was a little bit of a pain in the ass, um, which I'm not impressed with. So I'm now soaking wet, as you just saw, and I'm very cross about it. And it's like 
summer last year. Right, oh, in fact, okay, let me, uh, let me just get that. So it's currently the 18th of March, um, 2013. So I'm gonna leave all the seeds in because I like to blow my fucking ass off when I, sorry, I'm swearing a bit too much. I shouldn't be swearing. I just got into the mood of swearing recently, I should stop. Um, yeah, I'm leaving all the seeds in because I like hot spice it on my lip there. What was I talking about, guys? <laughs> Can't remember, rain or something. Oh, I had a good point there, what was it? Oh yeah, right. It's the 18th of March, 2013. Last year, 2012, we had one of the wettest springs on record, and I think possibly one of the wettest summers on record. So there was a hell of a lot of rain, and then of course it rains a lot during autumn anyway. Oh, let me get this, let me get this up here for, yeah. Oh, where's the, there it is. Way. I'm not editing any of this. Uh, then we had, yeah, one of the wettest summers. And autumn was wet, and winter we had some snow, but not very much, the rest was rain. And now we're back to spring, when it bloody rains again. So all we get now is rain. And, you know, we haven't had a proper summer. Oh, right, well I won't get on to that. I reckon it's gonna rain for the rest of my life, but it doesn't matter. Let's switch that on, there we are. Uh, chili oil, essential ingredient. Oh, that's going to be too spicy actually with that whole... Ch actually, the chilies aren't very hot, I've tried them, so we'll put some chilli oil in, it's fine. There we are. And... And what? Come on, sit. Well, I'll let that oil heat up. I'll stand here and talk to you guys. Um, and... I've got a stool. So, I'm... <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, professional. Yes, hmm. So... Really, we haven't had a summer and all we have is crap weather. Now, here I am complaining about it being too cold, being too wet and everything. Yes, that's the stereotype. It's not always raining, but I'll get on to that in a minute. The second, yeah, what I was saying was, obviously here, it's what? I, I don't know what latitude or longitude we are, um, but obviously in England, it's like a temperate place. It's not very hot, it's not very humid, it's not too cold, like up in bloody Sweden and Iceland and all that sort of thing. So we have a sort of very middling kind of thing. I don't know where else to describe it. Probably like, no, nowhere else on earth is quite like it. It's just raining. Um, and what that means is we don't really ever have torrential thunderstorms and downpours like you might have in, you know, sometimes in America or sometimes in, uh, Asia, you know, like really, really heavy rain. And counterbalance that, we also don't have really hot dry times. So really, all our rain is, is just a sort of drizzly little, bleh, 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 not really, you know, can't be asked kind of rain. Um, and that's why it's even more annoying. Because when it's like that, it's like it can't even be bothered to try properly. Oh, rainbow colour, look at that, can you see that? Look at that, rainbow colour, mm, mm, mm. Um, let me get a sp spatula. Spatula, tofetto. I have no idea what I was, so. So, it's not even like the weather's that bad here, and we just get grey, drizzly rain, so when you go out for a walk, you don't get like, wow, I got soaked, that was incredible, you just get damp and a little bit wet and it's just absolutely awful so you know that's that's the first bad thing about the rain here the second bad thing let me move that around for you you need to see my torso there you go <laughs> what would a stalky video be without torso um and then the second thing really is the fact that um, we British people, or at least English people, are probably the most complaining people on the whole planet who feel hard done by when anything goes slightly wrong. So as soon as it starts raining, of course, everyone's mood just goes <coughs> and like dies and everyone's like, oh, everything's terrible, life is terrible. So we've got this crappy half assed rain, a crappy half assed attitude, and really that ends up with us having this stereotype that England's always raining, which in fairness, it often is. But is that the Brit in me talking? Who knows? Who knows? I'm going to put some bacon in this. 
Um, as you can see, well, as you might be able to see, it's, um, yeah, 14th of March, it says to use this by. But I know for a fact that you can't get ill from eating pork. Because, you know, you could. Uh, I could just eat this raw, you know? <laughs> Lol. No, but I, I don't really take much, pay much attention to uh, uh, use by or sell by dates. I mean, if the food looks and smells fine, if the food looks and smells fine, then you're not really going to have too much of a problem, are you? You will wash my hands. Oh, why am I washing my hands? I'm about to cut the bloody bacon up. Arse. I'm going to do that over here. I can't be bothered to show you. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think the reason that we have used by and sell by dates often, in, I mean not always, because I think bacon, yeah, you should prob probably pay attention. I'm going to cook the shit out of it, don't I? But I reckon the main reason we have used by and sell by dates is because people would go absolutely ape shit if we didn't. They'd be like, oh my god, when do I have to use this by? Oh my god, I just got ill off something, therefore it must be your fault. So it's just companies having to cover themselves because greedy, bastard, useless people who can't tell the difference between a mouldy fucking salmon fillet and a prime rump steak go and get ill. Oh. I, I'm getting cross now. Look at this. Right, well, let me just cut this bacon better. There we go. Oh, lovely bacon. Yum, 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 yum. Actually, that looks really nice. Put that away. Wash my hands again. How's the weather where you all are? Considering today is the 18th of March. I mean, some of you will probably watch this in, like, December or something, you know, next year. Isn't that crazy? You might not know about me now, but later... In the year, you might. Ooh, that smells good. I should have put some garlic in it, but I forgot. It's too late now, I'm not going to bother. Throw the beer can in. Oh, if only you could smell this, you lucky, unlucky bastards. Honestly. Oh, right. I need to go and do something on my computer very quickly. I've just remembered. Back in a minute, I'm going to stop recording. Let the cooking continue! Yeah, sorry, I just had to sort something out. I remember what I had to do. I'm going to be cryptic and leave it at that, but, you know. Right, now we've got all of these looking pretty damn nice. Um, getting pretty well cooked. What I'm going to do... <coughs> oh my god! What? Bacon smoke. Let's turn that fan on. Oh dear, that hurt. Right, I've got some chilli and garlic sea salt. I don't know if you can see that, but it's extra delicious. And I'm about to finish it off, actually. Got a bit of salt in an omelette. Um, and then my brother's rule is fantastic. Like, I've got paprika here. Some people call it paprika, but you're wrong. Um, yeah, paprika. He says that uh, any, any meal that you cook Pretty much any meal can be made better by adding a few teaspoons of paprika. And I've taken them on board with that, and so far, the majority of the time, it's worked. So we're putting a shitload of that in. Wow. That's a lot of paprika. Well, I'll tell you what I might do before it all starts fizzling. And that's whacking a tiny, tiny little bit of water. Oh! Listen to that. Look at that. Oh! You know what? You need to see this. You need to see this action, this bad boy action. Let me, let me, uh, how am I doing this? Oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, you're going up. Look, you're going up, you're going up, you're going up. Let me tilt you. There you go, you see. Oh, you lucky devils. I'm such a handsome man cook for you. Oh, that smells like a bloody um, fajita mix. That smells incredible. Yum. Right. Anyway, stop bragging, Steve. You're not as good as a cook as you think you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> now I'm going into the fridge, because I want, obviously, to get some eggs. Free-range eggs. If we have to keep hens 
cooped up somewhere to lay us eggs, then why not make them free range? Cost a little bit extra and at least you can guarantee that the hens are going to be at least a little bit happier. Um, let me move that, I need to get my handy Pyrex jug. Actually, the worst weather I ever experienced, when I say worst, I don't mean this country, because this country is the worst, but um, <coughs> actually, yeah, two, two things. One is, um, what was my, yeah, that was my second tip, by the way, the paprika, second cooking tip, I was just remembering that. Um, yeah, one of them was in, when I was at university in Wales, and now Wales, like you think England's a rainy place, Wales is even worse. Shall I do three eggs or four? Uh, we'll be three. We wouldn't want to go overboard now, would we? Um, and in Wales, yeah, I was, I was walking back from the supermarket. What do you call that? What do you call a supermarket in America? I think it's a supermarket, isn't it? You call it Walmart. <laughs> no. But, basically, I was walking back uh, up a hill, because where I went to university, it had so many hills. Oh, just so you know what I'm doing. Just whisking the eggs, beating the eggs rather. Need a bit of milk. And there was a, like, it was really, really, really windy. And um, there was one massive gust of wind that actually blew me over and I fell on my ass. And it was, oh, it was so funny. But the good thing was, like, no one was standing there laughing at me because they were all too busy falling on their asses as well, so... Yeah, it was pretty, pretty hilarious. Um, and the worst rain I ever experienced was when I went on my trip to Australia and Hong Kong. And from Hong Kong... Let's just put some... Ah, now. Secret ingredient for everything was the sauce. Worcester sauce. Um, yeah, when we were in Hong Kong, we went on this like excursion to what's it called? Macau. It's like a sort of semi Portuguese settlement that now loads of Chinese people have moved into, and it's yeah, interesting place. Like, it's a little bit uh, rough around the edges in some, some parts, but there's some stunning bits as well. Um, really, really lovely place. So I, I recommend going if you get the chance, or if you're ever in Hong Kong. God knows why you would be, but, you know. Oh shit, that's way too much. Never mind. Um, and basically, while, while we were there, it was beautiful and sunny the entire day. In fact, it was, it was really hot. It was one of the hottest I've ever experienced. Like, you know, basically just into the 40s uh, degrees centigrade. Don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, uh, here we go, right, I'm just gonna pour this over the top of this, and it'll all mix round in a minute. There we go, give it a bit of that. It's like making a pancake, really. Then, we leave it on a lowish heat and put a nice lid on top. There we are. So yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty, pretty uh, terrifying, the heat level. But, having said that, let me put you over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm shit. I'm really shit. Yeah, so the heat level was really, really high. But then at one point, just sort of, I don't know, early evening time, it suddenly became really, really humid, like even worse than before, and just pelted it down with rain. And the rain was... Oh, it was like nothing else. It just started like that and wasn't like a sort of mini pitter patter first. It just it just opened, the heavens opened, so to speak. And uh, <coughs> I'm still inhaling that bloody bacon. Um, <laughs> inhale bacon, that's what I normally do. Hum, hum, hum. But yeah, the heavens opened and it was, it was just torrential and everyone sort of ducked inside shops and everything. I've got a video of it somewhere and it was, oh, it was incredible. And I, that's probably like the worst rain I've ever seen. The worst snow I've ever seen was in this country. I mean, if you don't count times I've been skiing to Austria or Italy or France or whatever, because obviously the snow is a lot more there, but in terms of disruption, the snow here 
couple of, uh, I think it was two or three years ago, 20, when was it, 2010, nah, 20, 2009, that, that, December 2009, was it January, who cares, um, <laughs> the crossover between 2009 and 2010, all right, um, then I had a drive to work, so I used to drive, what was it, 15 minutes I think I could make it, I, I, yeah that's right, I could make it 14 minutes if I was dangerous at driving. So you know, in a, in a thing that used to take me less than 20 minutes, it took me three and a half hours to get home from work that night. Um, basically I'd been getting some petrol, gas, um, getting some petrol earlier on in the day and my car broke down which was really annoying. So I called out the RAC and they came along, <laughs> sorry, they came along and they fixed it and it cost me you know, 90 pounds or something. And I drove back, and then just start just after that, like it started snowing, and it got worse and worse and worse. And this was this was during my lunch break at work, and it got worse and worse and worse. So by the time I actually left work at uh, half past five, it was it six in those days? I used to work till six actually. Yeah. So when I left work at six o'clock, it was just like snow everywhere, and because it was all fresh snow and it was really really cold it meant that cars had really bad trouble, especially my poor little thing, trying to get through it. So I, I drove about a third of the way home really slowly, got, got to this place where there was a bridge and couldn't get over the bridge because there was a lorry stuck on the bridge um, in all the snow and several cars stopped and abandoned behind it. So I, I, I started turning round in the road and some twat who thought he was really cool and fast and came shooting down and missed my car by probably about that much and ploughed into someone's front brick wall and that was just <laughs> ridiculous. I was like, you dick, you deserve that. But you've all seen me driving, you know how annoyed I get with unsafe and uh, like egotistical drivers. So I, got, I had to turn around and I went all the way back to where I work and went the other way home through a town and got stuck there as well because there's just little hills and my car can't get any traction on it and neither could others so there were actually people out of their homes helping push these cars up hills which was so kind of them I wouldn't have got home otherwise and I was skidding about everywhere nearly crashed oh, over and over again eventually managed to get onto the main road like there's a big sort of dual carriageway road uh, on the way home got onto that and eventually got home that way but that road was insane like we go down the hill, or we went down the hill to get from work to home. I say we, I, went down the hill and that was fine. But on the other side, <clears throat> there were cars and lorries and everything that could not get up that hill. It was just, it was like 28 days later, if you've ever you've seen that film, or Walking Dead I guess. But it was just like about, I don't know, well, hundreds and hundreds of cars all lined up basically stopped, completely stopped, and they couldn't go anywhere, and everyone had abandoned them. So there were all these, this was in the dark, all these cars just totally uh, abandoned and just left alone in the dark, and it was, it was so creepy. Um, but eventually I got home. So what, yeah, I want you to tell me what's the worst weather you've ever experienced, and tell me, tell me a story about it, either by video response or in a comment or, or whatever. Um, Facebook, Twitter. Um, it'd be interesting to see. <clears throat> so, yeah. Do you reckon the omelette's about done? I reckon it's about done. Oh, yes. So we're going to have a look. So wheedle you round like that, and then tilt you down like that. Whee! Sorry if you can't hear what I'm saying when I'm adjusting it, but never mind. Right. Oh, steam. Steamy, steamy, steamy. Right, that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to get rid of a bit of excess oil there. Oh, no, I'm not, because the bloody thing folds up, doesn't it? Eh. Nah, not doing that. That's ridiculous. Um, okay, this is the tough bit. This is where I have to flip the bloody thing. So, in order to catch all of the lulls on camera, I'm going to put you there. Uh, can't see properly. This will be worth it, no doubt, when I drop the fucking thing. Okay. Right, that should do you. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, bollocks! Right, okay. 
Good thing is it turned over and is now cooking on the other side. Bad thing, don't know if you can see it, this always happens, shit like this. That has gone all the way over there and there's loads of it. Oh dear. All in that nice little crevice that no one ever cleans. Doesn't matter. I'm sure it's good for you in the end. I'm gonna get ill from the over date out of date bacon anyway. Doesn't matter. I am normally better than this. I, I put it all down to nerves. That's what I put it all down to. That's the secret with omelettes. If you've got a lid, um, oh god, if you've got a lid to use, bloody use it because it it means that it all cooks through nicely. You can put it on a lowish heat and then it won't burn. Because that's one bad thing about omelettes; they they often tend to burn. So yeah, that's basically it, really. I'm just going to put loads of black pepper on the top of it, um, yum yum yum, and then have it with some ketchup because you've got to have ketchup. And that's probably about the lot. So, yeah, I don't need to tell you much more. <laughs> Show you the stain on the wall. There it is, where I just threw my omelette. Um, and otherwise, whoops, otherwise, I will bid you farewell. It's been lovely talking to you once again. Thank you so much for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. It's an absolute honour to be, you know, just sharing bits of life with you all. Um, <clears throat> as you might all have noticed, I'm going to put a video on my main channel, Stalpy, but as you all may have noticed, um, I haven't done very many games lately. Um, I did quite a few a while back, a couple of weeks ago, and recorded them all, and that's what I've been releasing. But I've had to slow down a lot, and I've only got one or two... <laughs> fuck off. I've only got one or two videos left to go uh, before I completely run out, and I, I do need to take a break, so I'm going to release a video letting you know that. Uh, I'll be doing like very occasional ones, but I do need to take a break again because of these bad boys, these wrists. Uh, I've got a lot on at work at the moment, so it's it means that I've got to think about uh, making sure I'm okay for that, um, working on a computer. So, yeah, no videos for a little while, but stay tuned because I'll do quite a few more of these, probably, um, as with last October when I invented this channel. When, pardon me, when I made this channel. Um, and yeah, otherwise, go and watch some of my old videos. They're pretty damn funny, some of them, anyway. It's people tell me, I don't know. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. <coughs> I'm still dying. And take care. Don't get caught out in the rain, you bastard rain.